Hi, I'm Ricky from American Golf. So as part of our winter series today, I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, what happens when you get a, a, a cake of mud on your ball. Something that can often happen during the winter months when we're playing. Normally there's preferred lies in operation where you can lift your ball and give it a clean, but sometimes out with that, the ground conditions can still cause uh, that to happen. So it's really trying to work out what to expect when you hit your shot. There's quite a lot of luck involved, um, but it is estimated that the way that the, that the mud's formed on the ball can have an effect on the way that the ball spins and of course how it's going to fly. Mine's is sitting here with the mud on the top of the ball. So the, the guess there is that the ball's going to spin a little bit more, so it's going to fly up, a little bit more up into the air. So in that case I've taken a 7 iron to cover this distance, whereas I, I would normally take an 8. If the mud tends to be more to the right, then the ball's going to, going to fade to the right for a right-handed golfer and to the left, it's going to curve to the left again for a right-handed golfer. So that's something to bear in mind. Again, a lot of luck involved in this shot, but you've just got to go with what, what your instinct tells you. So in my case, the ball was lying like so, so the, the mud's sitting on the top of it, so I'm guessing it's going to spin up a little bit, but hopefully it's still going to fly nice and straight. So let's give it a go, I'm just a normal swing, and see how we get on. Just make sure the club face is nice and clean, and we'll give it a try. So it curved a little bit to the left, but again, there is a lot of luck involved in this. You've just got to take it as it is and give it your best. So the next time you're out and you're faced with that situation, just have a think about how it might fly when it's in the air and just pick your club according to what you think. Best of luck.